Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. What do we have on the docket for today? We have uh, lots of great ideas actually. You, you guys are so intelligent. I love the questions you come up with. I love the things that you think to ask. The thing we're gonna look at in today's video is why do some souls seem to choose terrible earthly experiences? This is a little bit controversial in the spiritual community, so I guess I'll be careful, as careful as I can, explaining my understanding of this topic. My understanding of this is that before we are born here, before we come here, we kind of draw up a plan with help from uh, ascended masters or spirit guides or um, maybe whoever it is that you resonate most strongly with in the spirit realm. And we choose things like where we want to live or the type of family dynamic, what we look like, who our friends might be. And granted, these things, I feel like some people get to choose. It depends on the lifetime that you want and the things you're going to learn. Some things you get to choose and I think some things you don't. I don't think we choose absolutely everything, but we do choose some things. And I, I do personally think that some souls choose some of the bad things that they go through in the earthly incarnation. And the reason I think this is, is because the soul has a very different perspective than the ego, than the person. The person goes through a hard time and goes, why is this happening? I'm struggling, I'm suffering, I hate this. And that's probably very fair and very valid to say so. But to the soul, it's like, well, this is really difficult for the character that I'm playing right now, but I'm learning so many valuable things. Like maybe, for example, some souls maybe come from realms where everything is just beautiful love and light. They understand everything, they understand everyone, and maybe they just have never experienced what it's like for someone to be a jerk to them, <laughs> or they've never experienced what it's like to be a jerk, never experienced maybe something like jealousy or pain or loss. And so on the, maybe on the surface for them, it's like, okay, I just want to have this experience, number one. And then when you go deeper into it, it's like, okay, well now what can I learn from this experience that I've had? And so that's kind of my understanding, but I'm going to throw some cards and we're going to see why do some souls choose really shitty experiences sometimes? I already have one card that came flying out. So we'll keep it. All right. I got a lot of swords, a lot of swords here. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I think Spirit's telling me, Santa, that's enough cards. Make sure you understand the cards that you have put down before you start putting out more cards. That's just a really good tarot tip, and that's something that um, Spirit calls me out on all the time, especially when I'm reading on myself. It's like, nope, but you didn't stop putting down cards. Figure out the ones that you have. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to figure out the ones that we have. We're going to go through these together. Okay. So why do some souls seem to choose terrible earthly experiences? Okay, well, here we have the Fool card. This, I think, is representing the, the feeling the soul has of, let's just go and try this. Let's experience this. So they go into the lifetime. They experience what they're going to experience. And then the lifetime is over. And they go back out of the lifetime, back into spirit, and they kind of look at it and go, okay, that was quite an adventure. All right. So... For some, it's purely just for the experience. And I think maybe for all of them it is. Um, and then it goes a little bit deeper. Sometimes, sometimes for some people, the, the soul wants to learn that... Um, with every bad thing, sometimes there's still a little bit of positive to cling to or to try and remember. 
in this card, he's sad because he's just knocked over three of his cups. Or, I don't know what happened to the cups. Maybe someone else knocked them over. Maybe they just blew over in the wind. Who knows? Right? But my point is, any type of situation here, he's not seeing the two cups behind him that are still standing. So some souls want to experience what it's like to go through a hard time. And the challenge is to try and remember or try and find like any good, any positive, any good that can come out of this, any opportunity for growth. Um, let's see. Well, bad experiences are a huge catalyst for soul growth. They help us to grow incredibly quickly. Um, and really, a, a time of great spiritual expansion, growing, you know, like so fast and learning so much all at once, it's not going to be comfortable. Um, I often think of it as the physical body growing when I'm sure people, those of you watching who have kids know this or remember this from growing up when you would have a growth spurt, you, you would get pains in the body, growing pains. So, okay, sometimes if a soul is like, I want to, in this lifetime, go from this level of understanding to this level of understanding, and maybe this is a huge jump. It's like, well, okay, but it's not going to be easy. It is not going to be comfortable. You're going to go through a lot of stuff. You're going to have to put up with a lot of shit. Anything else? This helps them to learn more about other people. I think what Spirit's trying to show me is some people maybe go through a traumatic time, a tough time dealing with others. And they don't have an understanding until much later on why these people acted the way they did or why something happened the way it did. Um, again, not everybody, not every situation, of course, but for some, um, let's just say, let's use an example. Spirit's telling me to use an example. I'm going to use my personal life. This way I don't offend anybody. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, I got bullied a lot as a child. It was severe. It was bad, bad, bad. The point where I didn't really understand what suicide was, but I thought about it by the time I was 10. That's how bad it was. Um, but when I got older, I had a little bit more understanding of why some of those kids treated me the way they did. And, you know, it really sucked in that moment. It was a perspective I did not have. I was too young. I. I just wasn't meant to have that higher perspective on it yet. And then when I was older, I understood, okay, well, this girl was really going through something really bad at, at that time. And this person was dealing with a lot of pain and this teacher was dealing with whatever the hell was on his plate. And as I got older, it was like, okay, you know what? It made it a little bit easier for me to have an understanding. And when you have an understanding um, of somebody and why they did something, or why they hurt you, or why they acted a certain way. It doesn't validate what they did. All it does is makes it easier for you to have compassion for them, or for the situation. And when you have compassion for a person or situation or whatever, it makes it a little bit easier for you to forgive the, the people, the situation, yourself. And we remember that, okay, yeah, forgiveness, it can benefit the other person, but we mostly do it to, to soothe ourselves. We do this to heal ourselves. I cut the deck in half because I was going to shuffle and I have the chariot here. Um, there's this really strong energy of picking up and brushing off and recovering in the way that you need to recover and then moving forward uh, much stronger. I also have the magician on the other on the other half here. I think this is just showing like we learn our souls. We learn so much from the hard things that we go through, and um, 
sometimes experiences that we have in one lifetime will prep us for experiences that we'll have in another one. Or experiences we have in one point in our life will prep us for experiences we have in a different point in our lives. Okay, is there anything else, Spirit, that we need to know about this? Why do some souls choose terrible earthly experiences? And I just really feel like Spirit wants me to relay that not everyone chooses the bad things that happen to them, okay? This is not victim blaming. It's not saying that you brought anything upon yourself. It's not saying you attracted any of this or that you deserve it. Because, no, nobody deserves to be hurt. Spirit doesn't even like to see us struggle and be hurt. Anyways. Anything else, Spirit, you want to tell us about why some souls seem to choose horrible experiences or hard times? Oh, actually, something else that... Okay, well, there's not enough cut satisfaction... Having a wish come true, desires fulfilled. Okay, here was something that I was going to get at. Raising in vibration. Okay, so we were talking about earlier learning how to have understanding, out of compassion, how to have forgiveness, etc. Um, this helps raise your personal vibration. When you, when you express forgiveness, when you express compassion, when you express love, etc. And when we all do it, it's just like a big collective uh, collective measure and the earth itself the vibration of the planet goes up as each of us um, express love light high vibrational kind of habits like that so sometimes bad situations and bad things are a way for souls to learn this kind of thing forgiveness compassion understanding um, and that can help the soul to evolve whew, hugely all right is there anything else? Any last things to say, Spirit? Let's see. Oh! Of course, of course, of course. Some of this just depends on the way you see it. It's many different ways to perceive your life, your reality, your situations. Sometimes it's an opportunity to see the world from a different, a different way. And I think this still ties in with that message of understanding, having compassion, having forgiveness, but mostly understanding is going to help you change your perspective from this is a terrible place filled with terrible people to something like this place maybe needs help because it's full of a lot of sad and hurt people. The soul itself, your soul is always safe, it's comfortable in the part of your soul that always exists in spirit. It's comfortable, it's safe. On the whole, you are okay. You are okay. But definitely for learning and growth purposes, um, we would consider negative experiences or bad experiences are a huge catalyst for growth and we gain so much wisdom from all our experiences but it seems like we gain the most wisdom most quickly from from the difficult things that we go through so i hope that answered the question um that was sent in by a viewer i wish i wrote down your username i didn't and i'm very sorry about that but i hope that helped you uh, please remember to like and subscribe to Sienna Rose Metaphysical. Remember to hit the thumbs up and the bell icon so you can be notified every time I post or do something new on here. And with that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next upload.